summer is on our doorstep here in Australia and I wanted to share a peek at my core capsule wardrobe for the season. These items will form the groundwork for what I wear with some other items I own playing the role of supporting actor to give me options and keep my basics feeling fresh. There's 21 items, nine tops, four shorts, a pair of trousers, a knit, two dresses, two sandals, and two bags. First up, we've got the ribbed racerback tank, a core essential in my closet year round. This is the starting point for many of my outfits and I love that this is a cheap and cheerful one. It is really nice and soft and I always feel good when I wear it. I like a tank with a little bit more coverage on the shoulders as well. This one has a slight drop shoulder, which I find to be very flattering. This is a great option and it's made out of recycled cotton, which is amazing. Also comes in black too. Next, we have this t-shirt. It's organic cotton and it has a point of difference because it has these slightly statement shoulders but it's all down to the clever tailoring of this piece there is not a single shoulder pad in sight this is in a bit of a parchment hue so it's not quite white and it adds a little bit of warmth to my outfits I've been adding a little bit more color into my wardrobe and of course that had to be reflected in my summer capsule too I adore the cornflower blue color of this shirt and it really is the drape and fluidity of the cotton that makes me want to wear this on repeat. It is so comfortable, lightweight and breezy and of course I adore the oversized fit. This next shirt has a little bit of a silky quality to it which is down to the fact that it's made with tinsel. I like that it's ever so slightly sheer and it feels a little bit more dressed up. One of those great basics to take you from work to weekend. This rib tank was on my Black Friday wishlist this year and of course I snapped it up and I am already obsessed. I really like the grey green hue. I think it is really nice and earthy and natural and the actual silhouette itself is very, very classic. I wear this one with a strapless bra and I find that that's a great pairing. This is one of my other favorite camisoles in my closet right now. Again, it's the color that I'm so drawn to and I just find it really alluring. It looks like it's got so much depth to it, which is really down to the way that the light is captured by the silk. This has more of a deep V and I tend to go braless when I'm wearing this one, though again, I've worn it with a strapless bra and the cutaways here. And I like the fact that it does have adjustable straps too. Where would I be without my basic tees? This one here has a bit of an oversized fit. It's in an organic cotton and this is actually a unisex style. I do tend to find myself gravitating most towards white, grey or black t-shirts just because they're so easy to pair with my neutral wardrobe. Final top to mention is this black linen shirt and I feel like these are kind of the cornerstone of many summer wardrobes because they act as both a shirt, a cover-up, you can kind of dress them up, dress them down. I've opted to go a couple sizes up so I can get a particularly relaxed fit because that way I have maximum versatility. You don't always need a sweater in your summer wardrobe, especially here in Sydney, but I wanted to play it safe this year because of the La Nina effect has been a little bit cooler and summer's sort of taken a little bit longer to make its way to us. This one is in a cashmere and I like the cropped length because it is really easy to tuck in. I also have this in the longer length, but when I think about versatility and which one I prefer the cut of, it's definitely the cropped version. This is very, very lush and it feels like such a special piece. I will link a more affordable alternative down below. Every year I seem to have a dress from Mal on repeat as part of my summer wardrobe and this year's rendition has this beautiful subtle gingham check to it. It also has pockets. I really like the halter style and the fact that you can kind of adjust the way that this sits and the maxi length is just stunning. This is a special piece and something that I will be reaching for on those more dressier occasions. I also have my Ophelia dress tucked in my closet too, which I know I'll be wearing loads. The other dress that I have here is a ribbed knitted maxi length. Again, I'm really liking those longer, leaner silhouettes right now. This one I'm wearing back to front here in the cutaways, so you can actually wear it with a deep V in the front, but I just find it a little bit revealing. Also looks great layered with either a tank underneath or with a knit over top. So this is one that I sort of anticipate myself wearing well into autumn as well. It really wasn't hard for me to pick out my favorite trousers, these black linen ones. Love the high waist, love the relaxed fit through the leg and the fact that they graze the floor ever so slightly. These have just been something I wear all the time and they're breathable too. I don't know why I wasn't wearing trousers during the summer sooner. These beige denim shorts were more of a recent addition to my closet and I really like the color. The A-line silhouette is something that I typically go for because it is universally flattering and I love the wide leg opening. 
The denim on these is so soft and this particular style actually comes in multiple different colors. We of course also have my Everlane denim shorts and I've got two pairs here as part of my summer capsule, starting with the green. These ones I purchased on sale and so glad I added them to my closet because I've already worn them so, so much. They're actually a lot more versatile than I was anticipating. I've also included the black pair in my capsule. These I have one size up, so they're a little bit slouchier and a little bit wider through the leg. I've taken these traveling with me. They wash and wear well, and I just find them to be such a favorite. The denim on these Everlane ones is a thicker, more structured denim than the previous pair I shared. Final shorts are this tailored pair, which I've had for about 18 months now. I love the high waist, and again, the fact that these actually have a longer length through the leg this is something that I'm finding myself gravitating towards more. I want something that is a little bit more modest and that isn't too revealing. These have a D-ring belt. My only crack with these is that they have a side zip closure, which I find a little bit awkward to do up. Two pairs of sandals, two sides of the same coin, starting with my black YSL tribute slides. I've worn these for the past three summers and will continue to wear them until they are no longer wearable. I love them, though I will admit they aren't the most comfortable if you're walking huge distances. This is coming from someone with five feet. I did size up a full size. This next pair is actually an affordable dupe for the YSL ones, and they do come in a few different colors. I have the tan here, and the leather on them is really nice and soft. They're super duper comfortable, and they're just a good, easy style to slip on. I like that they add a little bit of warmth with that caramel hue to my outfits. Summer wardrobe wouldn't be complete without a straw bag, and I've been using this quite a lot recently. It's a very expensive version of what it is, so I would recommend shopping around to find something that suits your budget, but I do love the white leather contrast. Finally, a crossbody bag. I've opted to include my croissant bag here. I really like the supple leather, although I will admit that I wish it had an interior pocket. It's not necessarily my favorite bag, but I do find it a good option to have. It's very easy to throw on and go, especially with the two kids. So that's a peek into my summer capsule wardrobe. Over on my Instagram, you'll be able to see how I style all these items. And if you would like to see some of the different ways that I wear these pieces with other items in my closet, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a beautiful week and I'll see you very soon with my next video. Bye.